Hi, I'm Lisa Niven-Kelly for Beachcation.com. Today, I wanna to show you how to use our screw down hole punch. Here we have the screw down hole punch. Some like to call it the helicopter punch. And the great thing about this tool is the screw down action makes holes in metal without deforming the metal. This punch comes with two different sizes for two different size holes. This one over here, the black side, makes a 2.3 millimeter hole that you can fit a 12 gauge wire into. And this side makes a 1.6 millimeter hole that you can put a 14 gauge wire in. Now, if ever you misuse this poor tool and you break the punch, then you can buy a replacement punch. And you simply unscrew this, toss it, and put a new one in. You might be wondering what the difference is between this tool and the hole punch pliers that we carry. The hole punch pliers are great and fast, but they can only punch through metal that's 20 gauge in thickness or thinner. This tool can punch through metal that size as well, but it can also punch through thicker. I've gone as thick as 1.5 millimeter in thickness through a really, it's pretty thick, flat wire. So this can go through thicker, but it takes a little longer because the action of screwing it down and unscrewing it rather than just punching it with a plier. I've got here a sterling silver 16 gauge thick circle and 16 gauge is about 1.3 millimeters so it's pretty thick which is why I'm using this tool. I want to punch a hole that's 1.6 millimeters in it because I'm probably going to attach maybe a 16 gauge or an 18 gauge jump ring so that gives me a nice size hole. So I'm going to use this size of my punch. Now ignore this little crystal here. I just glue that on my tools so my friends will stop stealing my tools and this is my personal punch that I've been using for years. You can see I've marked my metal with a Sharpie pen, so I know exactly where I want my hole to be. I'm just gonna insert it into the tool and screw the pin down so it's just covering the black dot. I'm not gonna go all the way just yet. So I just wanna check it from all angles before the point of no return when I pop the hole in it. It looks good to me. So I'm gonna get a nice tight grip on the tool and screw down. Now, the harder the metal, the harder it's gonna to be to screw. Now I'm gonna continue screwing here until I feel it lighten up. So it's pretty hard to turn right now, and right there it got a lot easier, which means I just popped through the metal. I don't wanna keep screwing, because if you go all the way down, this thread is gonna mar a little circle around your hole, and that's not good. unscrew while holding the metal still. Don't try to pull the metal off of the pin. That's when you're going to run into trouble and depending how strong you are, you might break your pin. Just hold the metal and unscrew until it is completely out of the metal. Right there. Yes, look at that right there. Now I've got a nice clean hole. If you're paying close attention, you may have noticed that this little piece of metal fell out as I was unscrewing my punch after I screwed down the hole, which is great. This is the piece of metal that came out of my 16 gauge circle here. If that doesn't happen, you need to come in with the tool and push it out. So I'm saying that if your metal is sitting in here after you punched it out of your blank, you need to come in and do what I call clean out your plumbing and screw down the punch all the way till you hear that metal go boop and hit the table. Otherwise, if you don't do that, it builds up too much pressure inside that hole and the next time you go to punch a hole, it's gonna be really tough. 